the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 30th of July, 2021. It's the birthday of the blues guitarist Buddy Guy, born Letsworth, Louisiana, 1936, made his own guitar when he was 13, learned to play listening to the records of John Lee Hooker and others, started playing clubs in Baton Rouge, moved to Chicago, 1957, he was just 21 years old, and that's where Muddy Waters discovered him and took him under his wing. He was very popular in the 60s, he was a sideman for Howlin' Wolf, Little Walter, Coco Taylor. Eric Clapton said, Buddy Guy was to me what Elvis was for others. But it bothered Buddy Guy that rock and roll stations would play an Eric Clapton version of a Muddy Waters song, but they would not play Muddy Waters himself. And it's the birthday of Emily Bronte, born Yorkshire, England, 1818, daughter of a clergyman, sister of Anne and Charlotte Bronte. Mother died of cancer when they were small children. Their father was a quiet, solitary man, spent much of his time in his room. And so the children learned to entertain themselves. They made up stories, made up a whole imaginary land, Angria. And when she was 29, Emily wrote... Wuthering Heights. Here's a poem for today by Kim Dower entitled Visiting Eleanor. Eleanor in the poem refers to a statue of Eleanor Roosevelt in Riverside Park in New York City. Barbara, my childhood piano teacher, played Chopin like he was whispering into her hands. All us kids from the building had our Saturday morning lessons, apartment 6C, our giddy fingers trotting in the key of G, lifting high for Mozart, metronome ticking as her coffee brewed, her sandy-haired husband at the wooden breakfast table, mug, cigarette tight in his hands. He was the man on the Winston ads. I'd slide by him, eyes down, on my way to the bedroom where the shining black upright Steinway sat facing Broadway, her daughter pirouetting across the checkered linoleum floor, tiny yellow socks, collecting dust with each step, twirling to the music. We were all struggling so hard to learn how to play. And here we are, a lifetime later, arm in arm, walking in the rain, joyous as a sonata on our way to 72nd Street. Visiting Eleanor, she calls it, the only statue of a woman in the entire city. Tightening her grip, her bicep strong as a ballerina's calf muscle. And it all comes back, she and my mother, close talking in our kitchen, Barbara's pink mohair sweater, hair and rollers, the two of them, always wanting to put things behind them, the music of their motherhood, beat of secrets, music of being someone's daughter. I still have my music book filled with her notes, moderate tempo, allegro, practice. Here's where you get into trouble. A poem by Kim Dower, visiting Eleanor from her collection, Train to the Missing Planet, published by Red Hen Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.